Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Here to discuss another linear approximation video, and now look at an example on errors. Basically, my earlier videos I went over linear approximation, introduction. I went over some examples and also some um, uh, use on differentials or differentials notation in linear approximation. So make sure to watch those in the video links below. So I'm going to help illustrate this concept using this example, which states. The radius of a sphere was measured and found to be 21 centimeters with a possible error in measurement of at most 0 0.05 centimeters. What is the maximum error in using this value of the radius to compute the volume of the sphere right here? So let's just get an idea of what this question is saying. Let's just draw this out. Let's say we have a, a sphere like this. I'll try to draw it in 3D. So we get something like that, dash lines there, just shows a sphere. So we have the radius here, this we'll call this R. So basically we have R here, then we have this error right here in the radius. We'll call this actually dr, or the change of R, or this also equals to delta R right here. So basically the change of R, dr, and differentials notation. So we know that the error in the radius, so the error in radius equals to dr, and this equals to, well, we know it's 0 0.05 centimeters. Yeah, so that's uh, 0 0.05 centimeters. And we're asked to find basically to compute the, the error in the volume of the sphere, or the maximum error. So basically, we're trying to find out, we'll call this dr, right? I mean, dv. We're, we're trying to find basically the error or the change, uh, the possible difference in volume or delta v right here. But like I showed in my earlier video, we can approximate this using differential notation, dr right here, instead of actually calculating what volume is at when we increase this. So using differential notation, we can actually solve this because we know right now r is equal to 21 centimeters. So what we could write is, well, we know that for volume of a sphere, this just equals to v, I mean, uh, yeah, volume of a sphere is equal to 4 pi r cubed right here. And then if we write the derivative of this, we know that v prime is going to be equal to, bring this down. Actually, I made a mistake. It's 4 over 3. So this is this is the formula for volume of a sphere is that. So when we bring the 3 down, it's going to cancel with the 3. So we'll be just left with 4 pi r squared right here. Yeah, and like I showed in my earlier video on linear approximation, we could approximate the error as basically dv is equal to v prime of r, that's this value right here, times is by d of r. And this is basically another way of writing derivative, and, and we're going to be looking at the tangent line of the increase of the volume. So now this is going to be equal to 4 pi r squared times dr. That's this dv. And we're going to approximate delta v by this. It's basically the idea of linear approximation. So make sure to watch the video link below on differentials notation. So we get this part right here. We can just now plug it in. We'll get dv is equal to 4 pi times 21 centimeters squared times it by 0 0.05 centimeters uh, yeah, right here. So this will get, yeah, well, if you plug this in the calculator, we'll get approximately 277 centimeters cubed. This is going to be centimeters squared times centimeters, centimeters cubed right here. So this looks like it's a lot, but the thing is, if we look at the relative uh, compared to what the volume is, well, what we could do is find the relative difference that's going to be dv over v. So the change in volume over the total uh, volume right here, this would equal to 4 pi. We, we don't need to calculate. We could just plug in this number and cancel some stuff out. So 4 pi squared dr, that's dv, divided by 4 over 3 pi r cubed, volume of a sphere. So we cancel the stuff we can, which is the 4s, the pi, and the r squared will cancel. So we'll be left with now, this 3 will go on top. 3 times it by dr over r right here. So it's going to be 3 times it by the basically the error in, or the relative error in this, uh, the radius. So we know that dr over r is equal to 0 0.05 divided by 21. And this one, if you plug this in the calculator, we're going to get 0 0.0024, so around there. Let's so plug that in. And this is, this is equal to about 0.24%. So we're doing the percent, just basically multiplied by 100. 
and we'll get a percent error. So it's a, as you can see, it's 0.24 percent of the radius. So that's pretty small. And now the dv over r this equals to basically three times this 0.0024 ish, and we get about. Yeah, we get about 0 0.007 right here. So it's a bit larger. And then this would equal to, if you get a percentage, it's going to be 0.7%. So basically 0.7% error of the volume, the max we can get. And the minimum, I mean, then of the radius is going to be 0.24%. So it's, as you can see, this number may seem big. This 277 centimeters cubed, but it's actually not that big compared to the actual volume. And again, if you wanted to get the exact uh, difference, you would basically have to calculate this delta V, or in other words, find V of, uh, this is going to be 21.05 equals to R right here. Yeah, and then you plug it in, then you would subtract by uh, V of 21.05 equals to R. So inside this function right here. But we're just using the approximation way right here, as explained in my earlier videos. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this, uh, you could download these notes in the, in the link below. And also, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.